Sometimes I cry. Oh! Miss my butthole, he laughs. <laughs> From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective. Here are your hosts. The Drunken Peasants. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to a very special episode of The Drunken Peasants. We're about to do something unheard of. We are about to make history tonight, and all of you can be part of it. What we're going to be doing tonight is we're going to be putting two of the creepiest people on earth against each other. James Robert Clark III versus Jared Genesis Juggernaut, Brother Jared, Punky J., Alpha uh, Genesis. Yeah, whatever 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 name you remember him by. We're going to be putting these two creepy characters from the internet against each other uh and we're going to have the audience vote on it and we're going to have uh them vote on five criteria. Uh you could say five criteria that uh you the people will decide and uh, we'll we'll go through it one by one. Let me switch views here so we can get the whole document up. There it yes. is. Yes, we're we're looking for the most delusional. Uh, who is the most delusional of the two? Who's furthest disconnected from reality? That's 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 point one. And that's a very important point. It's a very important point in this in this old fashioned creep off. Yeah, old fashioned creep off. We're looking for second point. Who's the biggest mooch? Which man is the most pathetic financial burden? Yes. Whether that be on their parents, whether that be on society, we're going to ask you, the audience, we're going to give you some evidence, we're going to find the answer. We're going to ask, third of all, who is the highest predatory threat? That's to say which man is the most dangerous to society. Which man poses the most immediate threat with his creepiness? And fourth of all, this one probably the most important, who is the worst martial artist? Who is the weakest overall? Who would lose in a fight to the other? These yeah. are the questions we have to ask ourselves in order to determine Mr. Creep. Uh, and uh, finally, the fifth criteria, we're going to look at their, the most intriguing enemies. Who has the best arch nemesis? Nemesize. Nemesize. Everyone like the stream, if you could, please. We're going to talk about this a little bit this is actually the subject matter of tonight's patreon private show patreon.com slash dp you can sign up there's a link in the description i will also post it in the chat uh five dollars will get you this private show plus two more that we're going to do before the end of this month this helps keep our channel alive keeps uh food in everyone's mouths keep roofs over our head all of that wonderful stuff it gives us water Water to drink, delicious water. Yeah, without Man, water, we'd die. We would die. So if you want to help us out, help us out, sign up through Patreon. The $5 pledge will get you three private shows this month, uh, including the one that we're about to do tonight. And then also uh, you get to chat in the cool chat that's at the bottom of the screen, too. That's a little perk. I see people saying Jared's going to win. I don't know. See, I really don't know. I see people going for both sides, and I think that once we display the evidence, there's got to be people turning yeah, we're, from both sides. We're going to do a full-length episode exploring some of the weirdest content from each of these guys pertaining to each category and some opinions from people who I would consider uh, experts 
on either of these uh, disgusting individuals. Um, but let us know in the chat. You can type out. Also, if you're watching this after the fact, you can leave your comments below on who you think should win between the two. Who is the worst? Yeah, if you're watching this and it's not live, chances are uh, we have done or are doing the private show. Yeah. And you can join up for five bucks. There we go. Mr. B, thank you for signing up. Now, yeah, tonight's private show is going to end around the time most of our private shows normally begin. So we're going to start in about 15 to 20 minutes over there, and we're going to go throughout the night. Yes. And uh, then we'll, we'll see who wins. Who is worse? Who is the Mr. Universe versely known creep? It's the top tier sicko. Well, I don't know if I want to put sicko on these boys. That's kind of copywritten to the Cobes. It's King Cobra. Oh, what, the sicko? No, no, no. He, I don't think, think Cobes if... would call these boys sickos? I mean, he probably would, but I think King Cobra just goes by whatever he's told by the... Because tr- he, he always refers to the trolls as, like, the negative people, but his whole audience is trolls. They're just the trolls that he trusts and the trolls that he doesn't. You know? Same thing with Jared. They're kind of the same in that respect. I'm looking at these categories. Yes. Uh, Do you think that there's a chance one of the gentlemen will sweep the categories? There is a chance, yes. Like, if, if Jared Genesis leaves with all five categories... Like that, undisputed. Then we might have to put him up against somebody else. Like I, eventually, I, I don't know if, if there is anybody as creepy as these two. Oh, don't! I, I'll find somebody. <laughs> I'll find. They may not have the notoriety, but they. Uh, we just need to find somebody who's a terrible martial artist. There's so many. You know what? These guys have very similar personality types. Yeah. Um, I think the big difference is James Robert Clark is honestly in a tougher position in his life with his his parents not being alive and uh, like having no family, like no base. So, uh, you know, it, it's hard to measure. I think Jared got the bigger break in life. I think they're both very similar people in many ways. But Jared got the bigger break. Jared's the fortunate son. He is out of the two. <laughs> he is, because he has parents that care about him. and let him, I mean, granted, they let him get away with ridiculous stuff, but his parents care about him, and he actually has a home that's not Section 8 and all that stuff. James Robert Clark, on the other hand, had a traumatic childhood uh, by his own admission. He had a forced... Uh he was forced out into society. He had to be on his own two feet. He was homeless for a little while. Jared's been a failure to launch, which might have given him an incubator to continually be predatory. We don't know. We have to look at the facts. Yeah. We have to look at the facts. Yeah. There's a lot going on here today in the Someone said James probably has experienced suffering before. I, I think objectively he has. First of all, if he's telling the truth, he witnessed his father uh, off himself in front of him. That's pretty suffering intense. That's a bad uh, gig. He was he was homeless. Uh, he went to jail. He, I mean, like this is all bad. Like, you know, like apparently he did the things that landed him in jail, so he deserved to go to jail. But I don't think he deserved the father thing. Uh, you know, it, it's it it's pretty bad. Yeah, uh, Jared Jared's suffering is that he his daddy won't let him stream on the internet. But we'll get to it. I don't want to. I don't want to do too much of the show right now for fray. But you guys should sign up. I'll, I'll post the link one more time here. I'll pin it in the chat because we want as many of you as possible to sign up. Yes, if you could, please. I see people arguing that James is more delusional. I see others saying Jared is more delusional, and that's really the question. Ben and I had to ask ourselves because we didn't have answers. Right. And we wanted to come to you guys to really formulate. Like, we've asked this question over the last like month a couple times to each other. Like, who is the biggest loser? Last, no, no fat joke. 
Last night, after the sh- after our show ended, I was like, Billy, I think we should do a deep dive on Robert James Clark the third. And then we were kind of like, ah, oh, should should we do a whole show on him? Is it right to do a whole show just on him? And then I was like, how about we do who is worse between Jared and James Robert Clark? Yes. Yes. I don't know why this is for. Maybe it's because they're in a Maybe they're going cur- up to a $5 Patreon or from being a like, $1 previously. Or the it's like a different currency or something. Sometimes yeah. that happens. Um it's probably the the kroner. These are probably kroner. Kroners dollars. are worth way less than the oh. dollar. Oh. Another Patreon. Everybody $5 and above you come along for the ride tonight. You're going to have two more private shows this month. It's such a deal. You don't even yeah, know. We've already gotten so many people signing back up. This is pretty great. Thank you. And for those of you that have uh, money too tight at the moment, appreciate you being here with us yeah. right now. And We're not going to shame us. you. Money is tight. We will let you know uh, eventually who was judged the winner of the Great American Creep Off. And if you sign up after the fact, if you didn't know this was happening and you're just now watching this video and it, it might already be over, I'll go in and I'll delete the polls so that when you go into Patreon, if you didn't already look on your own accord, uh, it won't spoil the results for you. That's good. Yeah, I'll delete the polls. The only reason I keep the actual Mania polls up is so that I can go back and remember what actually you happened. Need that. Yeah, because I cannot remember. Those are records. Yeah. If you don't want to get spoiled for actual mania, just close your eyes until you're finished watching. Wait, that might not work. Close your eyes. Close my eyes. Only for a moment and the moment's gone. Oh. Give a like if not monies. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Give a like. Like it up. Put your... Finger where the button is over the like trigger thing, whatever that like means. Trigger I'm I'm a I'm part boomer, so bear with me. There's another hey, one. Hey, Uzazi, Izaz. These four dollar Patreons, they're they're rare. I don't see these very often. Yeah, I don't. You know what though? On my end, I think it's showing as five. I okay, don't know. Cool. I don't know what it is. Do you, I think you know what. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Do you think these people want to support the show but refuse to watch this episode? No, it says five when I go in, these guys are. When I go and look in, uh, like on Patreon, it says five. So whatever. I, I thank you, thank you. Stephen McHugs says, "Can we write in Billy for worst human?" No, but but I will argue with you for hours on why I'm the best human. You silly little. Platypus. Don't worry, that's not part of the show tonight. <laughs> that's a private, private show. Oh, yeah. um, I'm going to corner Stabby McHugs in a bathroom. There's Juma P with the $5 conversion. Oh. See, everything's coming up happy. Coming up happy. Everything's happy. coming up happy. Yeah, the increasing from the $1 was my thought. But then I thought maybe it was Kroner's. Yeah. I would think uh, pounds because they're all, like slightly worth more than a dollar. I just like the word kroner. It just sounds cool to me. What's the what's probably what do you think is the best name for a money? Like there's peso, there's shekel, there's uh yeah, there's rupee. a lot of them. Or is it rupee or ruple? There's rubles. Rubles are rupees a thing, or did I make that up? I think there might be. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really have an opinion on what word for currency is the best word. Um, damn. Hey, Jacob DeVille coming through with that big time pledge. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, we heard your feedback, people. You told us. Uh, or, or a lot of you did. The private shows are too late for me. They're too late because we normally start them around seven fifteen Pacific time, which is ten p.m. East Coast. Yeah, so uh, that's pretty late. Yeah, 
I actually looked it up. Almost half of the entire country's population lives in Eastern time zone. Almost half. It's like 40 seven percent yeah of the entire country's population lives just in that time zone. yeah that's why the east coast people have the worst gene pools because they don't have to travel so far to procreate i i, re- I resent being called the east coast people because i grew up in that time zone and i didn't live on the coast that's true yeah so maybe you had to travel a little further your 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 bloodline had to travel a little further. But like when you get to New York City. I think what you're saying is pseudoscience that you have to travel far for your bloodline. When you get to New York City, you just start bumping into people and getting pregnant. Okay. It's like it's there's more work that has to be done. Well then stay away from New York then, please. Like if you're from if you're an Oregonian, you got some you got some real genetical flourishing. Because your parents had to chop down trees to to bang. And that's that's a, not true. It's, it's 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 probably true. No. But you know, that doesn't mean that all New Yorkers are ugly. Oh god, I love it. There's a James Robert Clark sock account. There's no way that Jared has a nicer dungeon than I do for my captives, I mean girlfriends. I don't think Oh, that's really him? I don't think JRC3 could afford a dungeon. Oh, it's subsidized. It's a oh, government okay. subsidized dungeon he 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 minecrafted a uh, old lady's apartment in his in his section eight housing and turned it into he a dungeon. grind crafted it in minecraft new york is like the least inbred city too yeah because there's so many people there it's like new york no. city is awesome it's awesome but there's tons of little dick motherfuckers out there because they didn't have to have longer dicks like people on the west coast we had to have longer dicks I to reach. I love how Billy, like, totally just creates this thing he's an expert in, which is total bullshit from beginning to end. But he'll just keep going into it and going into it. I don't know what to say to this. It's total bullshit. It's, You're just making it up out of nowhere. If you talk to any New York women, they'll tell no, you about all this the isn't little true. dick New Yorkers they know. No, this isn't if, true. If you look it up You're on a map. You're making it up. If you look it up on a map. There's so many little dick New York men. I, this is what I've heard from all the New from York women. the voices in your mind. No, it's all the New York women. Uh, there, there was a study. What uh, are their names? Uh, Can B- I get some references? B- no. Begonia. Okay. Uh, Leticia. Okay. There was uh, J- Johnny Girl. Johnny Girl Good was job. one of them. Uh, yeah, young Cheech, young Cheech had told me about it. Uh huh. Cool. There's a few others too. Uh huh. That's but they, awesome. They want to remain anonymous. Okay. Good. Good bit. Um. So one more time, we're to go through all of the categories. Most delusional. Biggest mooch. Highest predatory threat. Worst martial artist. Most intriguing enemies. Everyone, uh, those are the factors that will decide tonight's winner. Jared Genesis versus James Robert Clark III. Excellent. All right. Um, Let's see. I forgot to... Do a little intro video thing. It's not my fault Lacey Green taught me I have a big, thick wiener. It's not my fault, Big Diesel. Uh, By the way, Big Diesel, that's what they call my wiener is Big Diesel. Not 593, though, so that's what differentiates you from my penis. Thank you for bringing that factoid up. James finally going to score on DP Live. I don't think he's going to score today. I don't think he's going to score today. He might he might win the creep off. But I don't think he's going to score. Maybe he's going to score. Is that why Lacey ain't been here in years? No, she came on at least once after I Yeah, what do you read mean her years? Book. She's been on here more recently than years. Hey, thank you, the brutal. And actually, I was going to hang out with her the last time I was in L.A. It just didn't work out because I was in shitty Anaheim instead and things just didn't work out. 
Should have never stayed in Anaheim. Yeah, that's where COVID was born. Yeah. COVID. I have got a really big headache from coughing. Yeah, I've had that. Cuffs? Yeah. Yeah. Every time I cough really hard when I was in the middle, like in the worst part of COVID, if I coughed really hard, my neck would crack. That like, sucks. Yeah. Almost like a chiropractor did an adjustment to it. It would crack really hard. Hey, Matthew LePan coming in for one year. Whoa. It looks to be. That looks amazing. The one year amazing. steal of a deal. And by the way, since you guys are signing up, uh, we're also, we have a goal right now where we're trying to get to 550 patrons. And we're, you guys are helping us get a lot closer to that right now. Uh, you may not realize it, but you actually are. We're at three. Or I said five fifty. I meant four fifty. We're at three seventy five right now. We're trying to get to. So we only have seventy five to go. That's pretty close. Yeah, that's pretty good because we were more than a hundred away. That's uh, at one point. That's now, pretty good. when the month rolls over, it's gonna reset and shit is going to fall it does that at the beginning of every month but as long as you guys hold your patronage and just make sure that it goes through um we i i think we've got it um where is that goal oh here it is right here here's the goal uh 375 out of 450 if we hit the 450 at some point we are going to do an episode of Fat Ass and Meatball in the Morning Zoo. Or something else if the hype on that is dead. I don't know. I think people still want it, but... Everybody's begging for it. It's They're clamoring. It's been a while. They're clamoring. I did start to do stuff to prepare for that just in case it happened. Like uh, drops. Like I started downloading weird drops here and there. You know. Bazunga. And I wanna I wanna reiterate, there's so many people on the East Coast that there's tons, there's tons of hot people on the East Coast. There just happens to be a more probable breeding here, pool. Here we go. For the weirdos. Okay. For, for the for the 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 boggleums. Aurora Meteora. Pledge five. I like that name. That's a fantastic name. Aurora Meteora, the meteoric rise to the top. James Robert Clark III is in our chat and says, I'm close to my goal as well. I'm almost to 100 protection orders filed against me. <laughs> I need stronger duct tape. Stronger duct tape. It's too bad we don't have the fake uh, Jared Genesis in our chat fighting with You're the a simp, fake bro. James Robert Clark. You're a simp for nurses, bro. I mean, Jared would have a point. I am not a simp. I just want to go picking berries with a nurse, okay? <laughs> you sound like Kermit the Frog. Is Jordan Peterson James Robert Clark? Yeah. Somebody, <laughs> somebody compared Jordan Peterson to Hunter Biden with physical features, and I can't unsee that Yeah, they kind that of now. look similar. It's I think Jordan me. Peterson's older, but yeah. yeah but they not have, by much, though. Uh, Hunter Biden's probably in his 50s. Yeah, the crack ages you a little more, I think. No, it's the fountain of youth. It's the the fountain, fountain of Utes. Fountain of the two. The fountain of the two Utes. Okay, I want to apologize to all the boglums I offended, beyond all the New Yorkers I offended. I think I've offended so many people today. The boglums and the New Yorkers. James Robert Clark the Third <laughs> is offended. Oh, jeez. This is why. This is why I don't open my mouth, guys. Peterson was addicted to not crack though, right? Wasn't he no, addicted it was to benzos. pills? It was yeah, sleepy benzos. pills. Ew, ew. I'm live ew, sleeping. Ew. I love that because like him and his wife are just talking some dumb shit. Like I think they were at some dinner or something because she was dressed all nice and he was in a suit and everything, and he was just typing away. And they're like, "Yeah, this is funny, eh?" Matt Thank you. Stuck in time, coming in for Uno. Yero. But then he does the typical like Canadian, like he notices and he's like, ooh, 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 ooh. If he was from the Midwest, would he have been like, oh, 
Yes, Ope? actually. I'm you know live what? streaming. I still can't stop the Ope. I use Ope, too. I can't. Did your dad say, oh, isn't your dad from Ohio? Or He's from Ohio. My grandma's from Ohio. My my grandfather, I guess, is from Wyoming. He Did might, your dad say I Ope? I might be related to Is that where you got Ope's. the Ope? Um, I don't, my dad didn't really say Ope, but I, I was, I remember, I was, I was helping clean out, um, a house last weekend and there was like a bunch of people picking up free shit and there was some person with a fucking box of glass walking by and they like kind of bumped into me and I was like, moved the way. I said, Ope. And I was like, I just said, Ope. Did, did you catch it from me from being in I this might room? Have, I don't know. I um, just, I, I was a Ope. I, maybe it was the proper time to Ope. I, the, I'm not sure. The other night when I was doing my IRL stream. I I I got a little tipsy and I kept going. Oh, just gotta squeeze by you here. That's what the ope is for. Is squeezing by. That's yeah. why. That's what I hope. Or if you accidentally bump into some, or even ope. if you like drop something. Ope. Yeah. It it's basically being like, oh shit, you know. Yeah. I just I caught myself oping this weekend. That's ope. why. Ope. I, I like, want to know. I, just I want to know the origin of ope. Like where how it started. I want to know. Like, I think it came from the Greeks um, with Opa, I and don't then think so. and then when when they go to Opa, but it wasn't quite didn't quite make it. When it was less than Opa, this they would like, Opa. This is like Amber Heard shit. You're telling me what comes from the Greeks and stuff. Yeah, freedom of speech came from the Greeks. I watched. Uh, oh. Oh, Jared! It, Jared's in the chat now. So now Jared and James. Oh, they Jared wants to pick berries with James. Dan-an, yes! Dan-an, Dan-an. Daniel G603, welcome to the Patreon. We may end up doing uh, more Patreon shows earlier if we get these kind of results out of it. Well, uh, hopefully everybody's very happy with the earlier times. Yeah. That's what I hope. Because one thing I know is that uh, during our regular Patreon shows, the later it gets, you notice the number of people participating dwindles because it gets to be like... In the freaking morning, almost. Yeah. For for some people. Opa. Opa Gungam style. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, oh, Opa yeah. Gundam Wing Ope style could be a corruption of oops. I think that would make a lot of sense. Oh, Ope. oops, Ope. 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 It could be from some language or something. I don't even know. It's it's a good uh, it's a good easy thing to say like oh. it's easier than oops right like oops op, op, oops 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 feels takes weird more, it takes more energy you know it's a little less natural if someone oopses to me I'm gonna think they're manipulating me better not ignore my donut you sweet boy did we ignore the last one I have no idea Sheesh. I don't even know I'm gonna go check and see if we ignored the last one. Because I this one we did not mean to ignore. Uh, yeah, I don't see another one, though. If we ignored this one, Fix Soul, I apologize. <laughs> this current one that we're talking about, if we ignore it, that's our, our bad. Uh, see, now James Robert Clark III is trying to challenge Jared to a lentil cook-off. <laughs> Does J- <coughs> James Robert Clark like... I think my guy probably gets an abundant lentils from the local pantry. Uh, Jared Genesis saying, all right, and afterwards we can make room and I'll show you what my sweet karate moves. Oh, man, they're really, they're really, they're, they, this is what happens when you do a creep off. The creeps show up and become buddies. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like it. The creeps, they're not even the real creeps, but even the fake creeps are creeping on each other right now. They're going to team. What if they team up and they start attacking people together? What That's if they scary. fall in love and creep on each other? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. All right, we're going to start in five minutes. Everyone who wants to watch, you should sign up. If you're on the fence, sign up. Sign Damn. up. Help us, uh, help us reach our Patreon goal. And uh, get an amazing show in the process. And five dollar TTS is still on, right? It is. Sheesh, we it got is. all the deals. All the deals. All the deals. Deals and meals on wheels. It's good times and great oldies. 
And by the way, the $5 won't just get you tonight's show. It'll get you two more shows before the end of this month. Yeah, we're going to have two more private shows this month, so it's really a great time to become a $5 Patreon. $5. Or so they say. It was hilarious that JLP turned out to be in the closet. Do you think Jesse Lee Peterson was hitting on Hannibal and Monty during that episode? I don't think so, and I mean, he might have been, or this could just be a hit job from people he pissed off. And why wouldn't JLP be attracted to me? Why would it, why, like, he seems to have an affinity for white people. He's always pro-white. Why, why, why do you think that he would like them over me? He probably wanted to gay me up. <laughs> Actually, I do have androgynous features so i could see why he wouldn't if he chose hannibal or monty over me i'd understand why <laughs> i might be too pretty for jlp he might need the, those rugged dreads swinging down his back as monty plows into him or or hannibal's mask scratching against the side of his face from those back breaking kisses we don't know jlp ain't a chubby chaser it's true I don't think the, uh, I don't think he might. I don't think he's into the curves. JLP looks like he's at, for an old guy. He looks like he's in good shape, actually. If he fucked me, the only shape he'd be is Why pancake. Why did this turn into a conversation about him wanting to fuck you? Because like we were just talking about whether or not he was gay. Yeah, but they, and you made it about him wanting to fuck you. Okay, maybe he wanted to fuck you too. We were I on that want, show too. I don't care. We were on that show too. I think it's really rude to just point out Hannibal and Monty as the only possible. I didn't point them out. The the Dono did. Oh my God! It's the Dono that did it. It was the Dono. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like you. Yeah. Looks like you need Gothy instead. No, I don't need Gothy. What if you had to choose? Dragon in the West. I, I just if you want to do another Dono explaining why you think JLP was hitting on Hannibal and Monty and not us. Uh, I would. I need some clarification. Would you rather fuck JLP or Gothy? Gothy. <laughs> Gothy uh, is not attractive, but neither is JLP. But think about the clout you'll get from fucking JLP. I don't need. I'm not a clout chaser, <laughs> like some people I know. <laughs> okay. Who are the clout chasers you know? I don't want to say. Oh, okay. Damn. I'm not a name dropper You're... either. Aren't you? Nope. Everybody brings up all my friends all the time, and I have to defend them, but that doesn't mean I'm a name <laughs> dropper. All my cool friends. Gothy or JRC3 for sex? Gothy. Gothy is at least a woman. I'm not attracted to men. Well, I'm not attracted to masculinity. I'll say that. Gothy, somewhere beneath that dumpster fire, has some femininity to her. Gothy did do a poopy. Well, that's gross. That actually... Gothy not into poop poopies either. What do you mean, did a poopy? I don't... I mean... Like on camera? Should, supposedly. Because we all do poopies, right? Yes, thank whoa, you, August. Whoa, whoa. Casey May coming through for one year. That's a good year, like the tire or the blimp. I always wanted to fly around in the Goodyear blimp because it's so slow. You could probably Airbnb it by now, right? I have no idea. I think they, you know, now they have drones. I don't even think they need blimps like that anymore because the blimps used to fly over the stadiums for big sporting events and shit to get like that slow bird's eye view that looked good on TV. But, yeah, you know, a, a drone is way cheaper and it takes up less space. Yeah, I don't know. We're over here talking about Gothy's nasty, gaseous farts in the, yeah, in I'm the patron jet. Yeah, I'm I'm like, she could inflate the, the Goodyear blimp with her farts. I have some pretty impressive farts. I think if I had a fart off with Gothy, I would... I would have a run for my money. 
I don't know, though. I didn't hear her. Fart off. Did we listen to her stinkers, her slappers? No, I don't want to. I don't remember doing that. We got to do the private show in a minute here. That's true. Maybe yeah. we'll do another private show where we just listen to every Should that be the person. next one? We'll listen to every person we can find farts. Like We got to have Brett Keen farts somewhere, right? I'm sure we have Trumpster Bob farts. And we just listen to every no person's idea. farts. That sounds so gross. I don't think that's a good one. Okay. Since episode 11, I recorded that video at the Columnus meetup of Moseph Jartelli running away. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Cheers, man. He can run pretty fast for a guy that was didn't like he didn't look like he was in good shape, but he ran like his life depended on it. Run. Run away. I heard he was there and I just didn't care. So I didn't, uh, I, I was like in the bar drinking and I heard the commotion. This avid reader has joined the Patreon wow. posse. So amazing. Yeah, you're getting two more shows after tonight's. One of them is Actual Mania. And just so you know, Egghead might cry during it. So you might want to sign up just for that alone. I think he might cry tears of joy when he retains his world title. What? I mean, his cringerweight title, excuse me. Honest Red, Honest Red has the power of being the official, so we'll see. We'll we'll touch on that more another time. Egghead's like, why would I cry? I don't know, Egghead. Egghead, have you ever cried uh, on the yes. show before? Yes. Why, yes. Why did you cry then? He cries all the time. Like he cries a lot. Dishonest Red, the narcissist. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. Um. All right, we are going to go do the private show. You guys should all go there. Uh, the link is already up on Patreon. So if you want to go there, uh, the polls will be brought up while uh, we're doing the, the stream. We got a lot of content to cover tonight, so we're going to go do that now. Just go there. It's, it's on a, a different platform where we get away with a lot more than we would here on YouTube. So we just do all the shows there. We are going there right now. We will see you all there. Like the stream. Come on in. See you then.